I start with a question which is kind of a joke in a way, which is what does it mean to live a finite, fragile life in an infinite, eternal universe? Which is a good question, <laughs> right? That's what you're asking. Yeah, right? that's what does it mean question. to live a finite life? Right. The, the first thing to say is meaning, right? What does it mean? That, that doesn't sound like a scientific concept in a way. Meaning, right. right? I would argue that whatever it is, it self evidently exists because the universe means something to us. I would argue that it's a property of complex biological systems. So whatever it is, it's something that emerges, in this case, from human brains. It self-evidently exists. We, we, everyone who's listening to this knows that the, the world means something to them. So I would argue that if this planet is the only planet in our galaxy where complex biological systems exist right, at, at our level, then it follows. It's the only place where meaning currently exists in a galaxy of 400 billion suns. And therefore, I would argue just for that very basic point that we have a tremendous responsibility in some sense. Because, if I, I, by the way, I gave a talk, a little video thing at the one of the climate summit, the COP climate summit in Glasgow in, in the UK a few years ago. And they asked me to do a little video uh, to the world leaders. And I think they thought I'd say, you know, Welcome to Glasgow. I have a nice meeting. But I, I made this little argument as fast as I could. I said it's possible at least that this is the only place where complex biology has emerged in, in our galaxy. If that's true, this is the only island of meaning in a galaxy of 400 billion suns. And you are responsible for it because you are the world leaders. Therefore, if you destroy it through deliberate action or inaction, then each of you would be personally responsible for destroying meaning in a galaxy of 400 billion suns, potentially forever. Now go and discuss that.